Hi. I'm yeah, here. Hello, Dave. Hi. Uh, this is probably a silly question, and I don't know. I have a Reeves Drive lane, and the minimum speed on it is like 500. And that's just insane for some things. And I'm wondering, can I get away with using something like a VFD on that to slow it down when I need to? Or am I asking for trouble? You Probably can trouble. if you have a if you have a three phase motor, you can do that. If you don't have a three phase motor, you won't work. Oh, won't work. Oh, well. I guess I'm out of luck. And I have it. Well, I have an old Harbor Freight that I put out a uh, a treadmill motor on, and I can slow things down, but it's smaller, and I can't get the same diameter of pieces. Right. What uh, what I've done is I had an old uh, an old Delta lathe, and I took a three phase three horsepower motor and put a VFD on it, and it worked great. Uh, you, you have to pair up a three phase motor with the variable frequency drive. And uh, if you go over about a horse and a half, you have to go to 220, but it can be done. Yeah, but it, <clears throat> what, by the same awesome. token, if, if I were to convert a Reeves drive lathe to VFD, I, I would get rid of the Reeves drive <clears throat> and go straight VFD all the way. Yes. Yeah, sure. well, that's what I did with the uh, the one that I have, the... Uh, the Harbor Freight. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, that works great, you know, because I, I gained a reverse, too, which is re really handy at times. Your, your, your treadmill motor is probably DC, though. Yes, typically. Yeah. yeah, a DC motor has to spool up. A DC motor gets its torque in the upper third of its range, mm -hmm. whereas mm -hmm. an AC motor, three-phase, it's it's torque curve is is pretty much linear it goes up like a 45 degree angle so your dc motors have their limitations uh you pretty much have to run them at high speed and yes you lose the torque at the low speed you'll you'll stall yeah. out on your larger pieces well and those the VFDs are not all that difficult to program, by the way. I had to replace the VFD on my 3520, and uh, I got it programmed, and it's working just fine. Uh, I actually got one from KB Controls. They call it a hybrid, and it's all programmed and everything. All you got to do is hook the wires up. It's got the dials on it and switches and uh, a... One for a one horsepower motor runs about 250, and uh, it works great. I have that on my small lathe. I've got a uh, I've got a 10 inch uh, Vicmark lathe, and I put a one horsepower AC motor on there with a with a VFD, and it works great. Cool. Dave, I know I have a I have a tr I have a shortcut you can take. Say Safety Sue said last week there's a website you can post some of that stuff on, and it come with fantastic answers like you know what speed should I change my tool post at um, and things like that. <laughs> if, if you're looking for some, if you're looking for a way not to do it, go there. Because um, right here you get you're talking to folks who have done it, you know, and and I'm real I'm really opposed to my so well maybe well maybe it will cook you off. Um, I have I, my one way the VFD got wet during Hurricane Katrina, and we sent it I sent it back to one way, and they rebuilt it for me. And when he came back, it was wired differently. And when I talked to the guys at one way, he says, yeah, wired differently. Yours must have been changed by somebody else because this is our, our original program. And it, he might be right. So, you know, when you go back, to, when you have to make these adjustments or put these things together, let's talk to the manufacturers and see if Apple matches Apple. 
Baker matches Baker, such and such. Um, because that maybe you'll try this. As, as somebody said, it's a $250 VFD. You toast it, it's going. It, you can't get a return yeah. on it like at Walmart. I mean, it's not going to happen. Yeah. So well, well, I figured asking here, I'm confident that you folks have a pretty good idea of what you're doing. Yeah. Well, uh, thank you. I'm going to post the website for KB Controls in the uh, <clears throat> in the chat, uh, and uh, that may answer a lot of your questions. And those are great people. You talk to them on the phone, and, and they're real, uh, real, they're real helpful. So, well, thank you. Thank you, Dave or Robert. Yep. Yeah. Good luck on that, Dave. Oh, yeah, thanks. I need it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>